I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to deal with phone messages in SharePoint. This is an example that I often use with my classroom teaching. And uh, the goal is to illustrate how you work with columns and views and how you share information in SharePoint when it comes to lists. So the use case here is that we have a small company with a switchboard telephone operator where people call in. And if they can't reach the person they're trying to reach, the switchboard takes a message on a post-it note like this and, um, and then hands it out to the person who was um, not reachable. So we're going to try to automate and improve that situation. We're going to do that by creating a new app of the list type. And then we're going to handle the incoming phone messages. And it will, of course, store the same information that we have on this post-it note here. So let's jump right in. And I'll go into my demo intranet here and go into site contents and create a new list, a list of phone messages. That's what we're doing here, right? So we're going to call that phone messages. And as you see, th that new list now only has one column. It's the title. So I'm going to start by changing the name of that title field because we don't really need a title. But we do need a phone number or a person who called. So I'm going to go into list settings and click on that column and rename it. So I'm going to call that who called. It's going to be my column name. I'm going to go back and add the other columns. I'm going to do that by this plus here. Add a new column. First of all, we're going to have a single line of text with a phone number. And then we're going to have a person who they try to call. And finally, we're going to have a yes, no field that says if the call has been returned or not. The default is, of course, going to be no. So now we have the information that we need. So we can go into Quick Edit and start adding new items. Pelle called, and he has the number, da -ba -da, ba -da -ba -da -da. and he called me, and the call has not been returned. Then Stina called also. She has this number, and she called Antonio, and that call hasn't been returned either. So now we have some information that we can work with, and now we're going to create some views based on this. So let's start by doing a grouped view, group by call here. Now I can just save that view by called. I'm going to go back to the all items there and do a quick edit again. And now that I've been in a group view, that quick edit view doesn't appear. But if I refresh the page, I can do it. And now I'll say that I returned my call. Antonio hasn't. And now I can do a filter, filter by no, and then I can save that view and call it unreturned. So now we have two of the views by called, unreturned on all items. And now I'm going to create a new view. I'm going to have to go into list settings for that. Create a brand new view here, create view. And that's going to be a standard view also. And that's going to be today's calls. And that's going to be based on a filter. We're going to show only those where created is equal to today. Notice that here you have that help, the today. You can filter by today or by me. And of course, both those phone calls were made today. So that makes sense. Today's calls shows both of them. Tomorrow, it will show none of, of these phone calls. That concludes my demo. Thank you for watching.